Is there any a little bit of reverb on it? Anything on the board? Fake reverb at all? Hey Scott, could you grab me a copy of our record? Yeah, yeah, hold up the new one. This must be one of those straws for those Korean bubble things. Tapioca, tapioca straw. I'm glad I'm not on acid. I'd be like, the straw is huge. Whoa. This is freaking me out. This record? Uh, yes. All right. It's just that. All right. Alright. And we'll autograph them if you buy one. Or if you don't buy one, we'll autograph one. You just carry it around. Uh, we made this record uh, 20 years ago. It's produced by our good friend Cosmo Vinyl from the, the Clash. And he worked for uh, Stiff Records for a long time. Tour managed Ian Dury. And uh, we made this record uh, 20 years ago. And. Um, then uh, it uh, came out on CD for a little while, and then uh, it disappeared. And now uh, New West Records, uh, I think uh, George said he had it stuck in his cassette player or something. <laughs> and uh, loved it and uh, offered to put it back out. And so they made a vinyl for it, and Cosmo and our good friend Mike Sears, who does all our posters, did a, redid the cover. And um, I'm going to open this one up just in case, I'm not sure, but maybe... But um, it's a really good record. It's produced. It's a, uh, it's a uh, pressed in Athens, Georgia. Ooh, it's got a cool sleeve inside too. Check this out. Okay, yeah, we're gonna do a couple songs in this. So, ooh, look at that. See, is that nice? It's a nice quality thing. Oh, it's on black vinyl. Classic <laughs> black. So, uh, Custom thank life. you for inviting us to your cool record store. Um, my first record, my first job as a as an adult was at Peaches in, uh, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So, and, uh, so there we go. This song is, uh, we also only, we toured on this record. We did a brief tour. Actually, this is a cool story because we, we were on Geffen Records and we got dropped. And then we were like, we were on Island Records for a long time, and Geffen Records for a while, and we got dropped. And so we're like, you know what, we know, we don't, painters paint. They don't paint because galleries want them, they paint. And so that was what we decided at that moment in our turning point, that we were just going to make our own records and, and do our own thing, you know. So that's what we did, and that's what we've been doing. We've made probably a dozen independent records since then, but um, uh, um, what was cool about it was that uh, we got a, the Who invited. They they heard the manager heard this record without our. We had no major label. Their manager actually uh, heard this and invited us to open for him on the Quadrophenia tour, the second one. So uh, that's about all we ever did for this was toured with the Who, and uh, then we moved on, so uh, it's a pretty good record. It's a really great record, actually. It's one of our, one of our best. And uh, so we're going to do a couple songs from here. This one is, uh, was the first one uh, on the record. It's uh, kind of a takeoff on a... It was a little bit like a, a Pete Townsend... Uh, Keep it close to my heart kind of thing. Actually, this one is called Keep It Close to My Heart. What song am I thinking of? Uh, Rough Boys? There are some of that are... No, what's the song? Empty Glass? Rough Boys. What was the song, though? Rough Boys. Let My Love... Love My Love... I don't know, whatever. You tell me. Okay, this one's called Too Late to Turn Okay, we're going to do a little show right now. We're going to do a couple songs in the record, then we're going to do a couple brand new songs coming up from our new record. We'll do three of those, and then uh, and then we're going to play tonight. If you want to hear a bunch of other stuff, we'll be under the volcano tonight. So. <laughs> 